Hey guys, welcome back to another monthly favourites, August favourites, what the hell. Um, so today I am going to run through things that I've been loving this month and I have to say, spoiler alert for the beginning, a whole load of them are from the same brand because Charlotte Tilbury just dropped her brand new collection which is called Super Nudes. Full disclosure, I worked with her on this launch over on Instagram but um, I'm under absolutely no obligation to talk about it on here and they don't know that I'm gonna talk about it on here. I just am so obsessed with this collection. I've been using the products every single time I've put on makeup. I would say every day, but I haven't worn makeup every day. Every single time I've put on makeup since I got this collection, I've been wearing this collection because it is so divine. I feel like as a collection, I mean, the, the, the clue is in the name, it's called Super Nudes. It, it's my kind of makeup. It is so beautiful. There are three items in particular from the collection that are just seriously amazing. The first one being the face palette, which has got two bronzers, a blusher and a highlighter. Um, the bronzers look fairly, this one especially looks fairly deep, but actually this works really nicely as a contour colour um, on me. And I think it's the palette's designed to kind of work universally for all different skin tones, but obviously in slightly different ways um, based on how fair or how deep your skin tone is. But seriously, the consistency and the kind of pigmentation and the way these products are formulated, I'm gonna show you, especially the blush and the highlighter. They're just beautiful. They really are just beautiful and they're just right up my street in terms of the blush is like a perfect pinky peach. I usually don't like things if they're too peach, but a little peach suits my skin tone. It's like that kind of mid ground between a pink and an orangey tone and it's just so nice. And the same being for the lipstick. So the lipstick, there are four lipsticks in this collection. There's also one on that's exclusive to Charlotte Tilbury website. So there's actually five. This one is catwalking. And when I opened this, I was like, mm, it's too like, rusty kind of warm tone for me actually when i'm wearing it it's like the perfect kind of pinky nude for me it's just so nice the actual consistency of it it's one of their matte i can't remember what they're called matte revolution i think um it's one of their matte texture lipsticks which actually i don't really like matte but i love these lipsticks because they're very very creamy they're not drying and they're just really nice a lot of the time matte lipsticks are not for me because i just can't you know the liquid matte lipstick feeling when it like dries on your lips and it goes <clears throat> it just makes me go ah uh, i just really and most of the time i really really struggle with matte finish this is super nice and then lastly i've actually got two to show you of these because um is the super news palette i actually thought this was the same as the one they previously did that's why i've got it to show you the difference between the two um this is the super news eye palette um, and when I first opened this, I was like, oh, they've reintroduced this palette, which I have and love and have been using loads. It's actually quite different. So this is the easy eye palette for the Charlotte Darling look. I mean, quite a long, quite a long name, but they're actually super, super different. So this is the one I was using before, and this is the Super News one. So this is a lot more matte. They're not all matte, but it's a lot more matte overall and a lot kind of deeper and less warm, whereas there's a lot more kind of mid rate, mid kind of tones in this and they're a lot shimmerier and there's only one kind of deep tone and it's not that deep whereas this has got a proper like really dark black kind of charcoal -y color um so yeah love that and it's just so easy for every day like you can use these tones for a daytime look and if you want to smoke it up you can and it's just really compact it's got a massive mirror really nice that whole collection is well well worth checking out and as per usual with charlotte tilbury the formulations are beautiful and just she's just nailed it again um there is another makeup product this month that i've totally fallen in love with and this one is a recommendation from my friend Ree. i had not heard of this before but they sell it on cult beauty it's monica blunders blunder cover um, <laughs> i love how she's used that pun her name in the title blunder cover clever um in it's called the blunder cover all-in-one concealer foundation i've been using this as a foundation so as the name would suggest it's a concealer foundation so it's pretty high coverage but and if you can see i'm wearing this today the finish it just gives you is so glowy and it's hydrating but not shiny it's so so nice i have been struggling a little bit with my skin this month actually um i've been getting a lot of breakouts around my forehead like my hairline i think it's because i've been working out more than usual and um i think it might be due to sweat I don't know, I can't think of anything else. And I've been getting a lot of breakouts around my chin, which I'm pretty sure is from mask wearing because it's not any more than like normal kind of hormonal breakouts. It's like directly related to mask wearing, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, 
this is so nice it covers everything and it doesn't show up the dryness too much which is what usually tends to happen when i break out i then get really dry whilst it's all healing and then nothing i can find to put on top of it is going to like sit nicely this sits super nicely i actually apply it with a small kind of fluffy or a medium sized fluffy um artificial bristle makeup brush my one is from real techniques but it just works really nicely with this i feel like any kind of like kabuki like buffing brush would work really really nicely because it is like high coverage but the texture is so creamy and just so it's just really nice um the shade i'm wearing is four number four which is perfect for me at the moment i feel like in the winter i would probably go to a three that's it for makeup I have one perfume favourite this month. Sorry also if I'm talking weird, I have a massive ulcer on the bottom half of my lip, like inside of my lip, which I got from biting my lip at the weekend. And I feel like my mat, I'm like talking really weirdly with my mouth. And even I can see it in the viewfinder. And I'm like, why I look so weird? It's because I've got a massive ulcer. Anyway, um, TMI for you all. Uh, a fragrance favorite this is actually just a tester but i'm definitely going to buy the full size of this because i absolutely love it this is from juliet has a gun which is a brand that i've smelt a few times when i've been in sephora in the states over the years um and i hadn't really fallen for any of them and this is their not a perfume fragrance which which i believe is their like signature fragrance anyway i got sent a um like a, a miniature set of this this was like there was a big vial of this and then lots of minis of all the others i didn't like any of the others i think it was from a retailer as well i believe it was from harvey nichols i believe um i hope it was quite a long time ago um anyway and i have been using this the last couple of weeks and absolutely love it it's really similar to um molecule one eccentric eccentric molecules molecule one which had its day like massive it's kind of like six years ago everyone was talking about it it's the like not a perfume perfume like it smells different on every person i feel like this has got a lot of the same vibe to it but it's like when you first spray it it smells exactly the same the difference being with this and between molecule one and this it has exactly the same scent when you spray it on so i'm pretty sure it's got that same like base note that molecule one has that's like in perfumes but they haven't added to it etc but this stays longer and i feel like it develops into something more interesting if that makes sense if you've tried molecule molecule one you'll probably know what i'm talking about in that regard it, like i find molecule one disappears quite quickly whereas this stays and i've had a few people compliment me in person obviously in person if it was on the internet you wouldn't be able to smell me would you um in person when i've been wearing this and say oh what perfume are you wearing that really suits you um great love it <laughs> love it when that happens so yeah um really like that and then lastly two bath and body products both from origins the first one being their ginger float cream bubble bath i had this about i don't even know how many years ago years ago i got it as a christmas set with surprise surprise what's gonna be next the ginger souffle body cream and i recently got sent these again and oh my god why had i not been repurchasing these i'd forgotten how much i love them they are quite wintry i feel like i'm getting into autumn already using these products a little bit they're just so divine the reason why i love this scent is because it's gourmand and it makes you like it smells like real fresh delicious ginger like if you like candied ginger um and in general ginger in things ginger ice cream reminds me of ginger ice cream it's gourmand but it's not too sweet like a lot of gourmand fragrances and kind of fragrance whether it's in a body cream or a bubble bath or whatever a lot of them are a little bit too sweet or too sugary you know they're a little bit sickly whereas this is almost like slightly savory it's like half savory half sweet and it's just divine the textures of these well not so much the texture of this but how it makes your bath is super super nice it's like foamy and nice and lovely but not overly like you know you get that like lightweight cheapy foam from bubble baths that are, are not, like, not like luxury luxurious ones it's not like that like it's really rich um in its texture and just so nice and just super strong smelling as well um because that's another thing i find especially when you buy them in a tub like this you end up putting quite a lot in um and sometimes like you can't smell it this you can smell and you can feel it on your skin and it's divine and then the body cream is actually a really lightweight as the name would suggest it's a souffle texture but it's a really lightweight cream which is perfect for the summertime in terms of its texture but it's still really hydrating which kind of to me makes it like a great all year rounder because it's 
you know, it's not too rich, but it feels rich on the skin. It feels super hydrating, but not heavy, if that makes sense. And again, this stays on your skin and just leaves you smelling delicious in the very best way. Like, delicious like you want to eat it, but not like it's a sugary sweet, going to give you a major sugar crash type situation. Love it. Super nice. And lastly, I almost forgot to add this one in um, because it's a TV show and it is on Amazon Prime. I devoured this show. It is so good. I feel like I'm a little bit behind the times. I think it came out in spring this year. And I think the finale was in like June or something. So I like to binge things when I'm into them. I will watch them like every night for a few nights and finish them off. Cruel Summer on Amazon Prime. If you haven't watched it, it's incredible. Um, it centers around, it's based in the 90s, like 93, 94, 95. And it centers around two girls, one of which goes missing. And the other girl kind of infiltrates her life and her friends and everything while she's gone. And it's all, it's a real like whodunit type of show, but it jumps back and forth in time so much. Like you really, really have to concentrate. It's not something you can put on in the background and follow along. You have to be watching it um, hard and it is so good. I absolutely loved it. And like I said, completely devoured it. So if you're looking for a new TV show to watch, I would thoroughly recommend that. And that is it for my monthly favorites. If you guys have any recommendations for me, especially books and TV shows, because I feel like I have nothing to watch now I finish that. Um, and book wise, I'm feeling just a bit like oh, uninspired at the moment. I had, I think I did two book recommendations in my last month, but this month I just haven't really been that into it. Um, so if you have any recommendations for me, let me know and I will see you very soon.